If you're still formatting the, the headings and the subheadings of your thesis or your research paper manually, then you're wasting your time. There's a much better way to do this that will save you so much time and effort that it's not even funny. It will allow you to format the table of contents and insert it completely automatically and it will be a breeze. So let me show you how this is done. Now, this video was prompted by a lot of questions about formatting that my clients ask me when I help them write a really good PhD thesis or a research paper. And I remembered my own experience as a PhD student. And I remember that I did this mistake, unfortunately, myself. And when I found out that you could actually number all the headings and subheadings automatically without, you know, having to remember which level of heading it was and is it 2.1.3, 2.1.3.4, what is it right now, right? I, I did that manually for like two years and then when somebody showed me that you can actually do it automatically, I, I thought they, they were like a god to me. Like I was just like, this is amazing. Why didn't anybody tell me that two years prior? So that's why I wanted to record this video so that you, know, you can save a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of pain and just you know, format um, all your headings automatically, be able to insert an automatic table of contents um, as well. So before I show you that, um, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where I help uh, PhD students and researchers regularly write research papers for high impact journals. So let's dive right in and I'll show you on my laptop in Microsoft Word how this is actually done. So I've got an empty document here, just a template, right, that, I, that I've created. And, you know, if you want to receive this template, then comment below this video and I'll send it to you. And it's a template that um, my clients use on my program, PhD Accelerator. So how, how do we format things? Well, first of all, you know, you want to create um, headings, right? Right here. And I've already created them. Um, for myself, right? So the, the title of an abstract, um, but also like the title of list of tables, figures, acknowledgements and things like that. And the title of chapters will be heading one, right? And then what you want to do is, you know, is the subheadings of chapter two in this case, that will be heading two. But now we're getting down to the third level and we've got heading three, right? Now, if you want to format them differently, well, what you need to do is you go, you right click here and you click on modify, right? And then you modify it however you want, changing the font and the style. You can also format the paragraph. You know, in here I've got spacing 12 before and after, but you can change it to whatever um, format is preferred in your university, right? But now, um, how do we how do we do this? Well, you know, if I if I add um, another another thing in here, right? So let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here, um, right? And then I'm gonna add um, some text, right? Um, so I've got a paragraph here that is not indented, right? And I'm gonna add some text here, right? Um, that's an introduction to section 2.2. And then what I'm gonna do is now I've, I've, I wanna have the following, I wanna have a subsection of 2.2, right? So it will be 2.2.1 and then title, right? I'm gonna add a title in here, right? And then I'm gonna add some text, right? And then I'm gonna add some more text, right? Like that, right? And then imagine, you know, I'm, I'm gonna then add another subsection, right? So that will be 2.2.2, right? And again, title, right? And then uh, I'm gonna go over here and add some text. And then what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna add, you know, the following big section, right? So 2.3, right? And I'm gonna do it just, just like this, just by clicking here. And then I'm gonna put a title. 
Now, the cool thing about it, of course, is that you don't have to remember this numbering. And it might seem very simple now, right? But believe me, when you have like several chapters in your thesis and each has like sections, each of which has sub, sub, sub sections, it can get incredibly messy. Like you don't want to be doing it by hand. It's, it's stupid to do it by hand. You're wasting tons of valuable time that could be that should be spent on more important things right and the cool thing about it is that of course um you know you you can just add an automatic table of contents right and if you right click on it and click on update field um we can we want to update the entire table right um, you'll see that um, it just added those things that uh, we were adding those 2.2.1 2.2.2 and and things like that right and you know, if you want to insert uh, an automatic table of contents, well, it's super simple. You just go to um, references, table of contents, right? And then you, you know, you select either one of the predefined ones or you create your own, right? And you define your own. Um, so that's, that's really good because imagine having to do this on your own. Like, I mean, the page numbers, they will constantly change as you're writing your sections and chapters. They will constantly change, right? So you can't do it manually. It would be mad to, to try and do it manually. Now, um, you know, the, the way you need to have it set up as well is if we go back to our list, right? Um, just here is also to make sure that you know you're using um, the correct um, list level right because sometimes word will mess things up and you want to make sure that you're using this uh, list and the level right but the way to do this and if you want to change formatting remember that you want to be using the headings in here in Microsoft um, Word just like this right so I hope this helps and it will really save you a ton of time, believe me. Um, and if you want this template, then comment below this video and I'll send you a link to this template. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos like that, that I release on a weekly basis, then definitely hit that like and the subscribe button so you don't miss them. And if you want to work with me more personally and publish research papers in better journals, then definitely um, book a one-to-one -one strategy session um, with us. Um, it's a one-to-one -one meeting either with myself or a member of my team where we're going to, first of all, discuss the, the challenges that you currently have and what you want to achieve and we'll outline a personalized strategy that will help you to achieve those goals in the fastest possible time. And if you're interested in doing that and then working with me uh, more personally, then definitely schedule that one-to-one -one strategy session. It's completely free, no strings attached.